They survived a terrible crash. Say it's because they were buckled in. Good evening. I'm Rob McCartney. And I'm Brandi Peterson. 24 hours ago, we first told you about the bad accident south of Walnut, Iowa. In our big story today at 6, how four people involved survived. KETV News Watch 7's Tony Cornett is live. When you see more of the two cars we're about to show you, you'll wonder how everyone escaped with their lives. There are some injuries, but one of the drivers says it was airbags and safety belts that made the big difference. Dusty 530th Street, a two lane gravel road just south of Highway 83. 14 year old Sydney Nelson was running errands with her 24 year old sister in law, Felicia Nelson, Sydney driving the white Impala. It is legal to have a 14 year old that is in that is driving the vehicle, but they must have a, a licensed driver, and I believe it's over the age of 21, that is in the passenger seat right next to them. Heading the opposite direction, two cars, one kicking up dust, followed by the other, driven by 22 year old Leah Jenkins with her 21 year old passenger, Carrie Clint, on their way home to Atlantic, Iowa from swimming. One vehicle was going northbound. They met a southbound vehicle. Created a lot of dust. Another vehicle was was following behind that that vehicle, and a hit-on accident occurred. And for now, that's all the sheriff can tell us: a cloud of dust and a terrible accident. These still photos from Sydney Nelson's family show us how the airbags deployed. And though she didn't want to appear on camera today, she showed us the severe strap mark on her shoulder where her safety belt restrained her. She and Felicia are both home today with only minor injuries. This is Leah Jenkins on the left, driver of the other car, the Grand Prix. She was the most seriously injured, taken by helicopter to Allegiant CUMC. There is no indication right now that it was anything other than a terrible accident. No indication that speed, alcohol, or drugs were involved. Right now, we have no indication that that, that those are factors. Given the head on wreckage you just saw, it's hard to believe that three of those four people in that crash suffered only minor injuries. That fourth person, Leah Jenkins, remains hospitalized at Allegiant CUMC, but now she's been upgraded to fair condition. Back to you. Thank you.